What's happening, y'all, man? Welcome back to The Truth Don't Hurt, where the truth doesn't hurt, it just hurt coming from me. What we got on the menu today, man, is old Lincoln Riley and others versus Deion Sanders. Prime time, man. Hey, look, man, it's like Deion Sanders, man, getting a lot of hype, man. Uh, we not gonna act like some of it is because that man got a little bit of color on his skin. I don't care what nobody say, man. You know, see, hey, you know, so Lincoln said what he said. I'm not Lincoln, man. Uh, damn, uh, Brent Venables, man. I'm out here tripping, man. Ven uh, uh, Brent Venables, man, Oklahoma coach, man, right? Because, you know, I, I rock with my Sooners, man. You know, I'm a Sooner, uh, I'm Sooner bred till I'm Sooner dead, man, right? But we're going to be real, man. There's a little bit of hate going on, man, with this Deion Sanders situation, man. Uh, you know, Deion come through. You see, you see, one thing I can't stand, man, is a hypocrite. You know, these coaches act like they doing things the right way, and they 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 go about it. You know, what I'm saying on the oh, we doing it for the love, we doing it for the students. You know, what I mean, having this program pride, man. Shut that up, man. We know good and well, y'all in it for the money, y'all in it about this winning, y'all. You know, what I'm saying y'all in it a lot of the times. Yeah, y'all may got some love for some kids though, but a lot of the times y'all be in it for self, man. Just like old Lincoln Riley, you know what I'm saying? He in it for self, and I ain't mad at that, though. But I'm just acting like I got this pride and y'all doing things the right way when it comes out later on that y'all to mess around and tamper it and when it gets the rules, man, to go ahead and go about your recruiting. You know what I mean? Don't be acting like, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, man, you got to do what you got to do, right? And look, Dion said he about winning. You know what I mean? Hey, man, he gave everybody a, a shot. He said, I'm going to bring. Hey, look. How could you not respect somebody like Dion? That's why everybody want to go play for Dion. How could you not respect somebody like, hey, man, look, I'm coming in. I'm bringing some of my guys with me that I know is straight ballers. You know what I mean? You're going to compete. You could you could try to compete, but more than likely, man, you ain't going to beat them. So I'm going to go ahead and give you an opportunity to go ahead and, and transfer to go ahead and find you another opportunity. You know what I mean? And for those y'all do want to stay, man, y'all going to battle. Y'all going to do things the neon Dion way, the primetime way, not that other Colorado way, man, that y'all ain't winning like two, three games, man. We ain't doing none of that, man. We came to bring a winning program. A winning program is what I came to do. You see what he did with that HBCU, man. You see how he changed the, the way that it looked. But, you know, it's going to go right back to how it was, man, because at the end of the day, the HBCU wasn't going to do right by him. You know what I mean? So Colorado went to go, hey, Colorado going to make sure. If they ain't had the funds, I heard they ain't had the funds at first, they going to make sure they had the funds. How could you sit over there not and, and hate on somebody that will come in and just off the rip, just bring a winning culture, bring some new, man, have people want to play with you. The players don't sit over there got a problem with it, and Colorado don't got a problem with it, but it's with y'all because y'all see Dion as a threat, and y'all don't want somebody to come in here, you feel me, who going to do it his way and actually succeed in his way. Man, all that little holier-than-thou stuff that y'all coaches be sitting over there doing, especially you white coaches, man, ain't nobody trying to hear about none of that, homie. It's about winning, man, right? You trying to tell me, man, if you're doing all that losing, and uh, especially at Oklahoma, you think that's going to be accepted at Oklahoma Venables? Now, I wanted you here, uh, Venables. Don't get it twisted, you feel me? Because I think that you're the, you're the coach that this Oklahoma need because Oklahoma's been soft, right? But let's not get it twisted, though, man. If I had my cho if I had my choice, if I had it, if they say, hey, prime time, you interested in an Oklahoma job? I'm saying, hell yeah, because I know what he's going to do for this program. Just like Colorado knew what he's going to do for this program. And Dion going to take Colorado for them to do some big things, man. Dion going to sit over there and change the culture right then away. And y'all mad and y'all be hating on that, man, because y'all know Dion going to go ahead and change. He going to change the game. He been changing the game. He going to continue to change the game, man. And then he going to continue to go ahead and take better opportunities and rise his way up, man. And, and, and y'all ain't going to have no choice but to respect it. And y'all hating on that, man. Man, let's be real. We're going to have to call a spade a spade. Even if you might, even if I rock with you as my coach or not, we're going to call a spade a spade. Y'all be hating on Dion, man. Y'all don't be calling him. All these other whack coaches, man, who be sitting over there doing the wrong thing. And who got who got all this other stuff going on? Y'all be silent though. But soon as Dion come up in the peak, could come up in the place, man, doing his thing, y'all got a problem with Dion. And we ain't gonna act like we don't know what, what it is, man. We're not gonna act like we ain't don't know what it is. We ain't gonna act like y'all don't be hating. Y'all wish y'all y'all can sit over there and have the magnetism that Dion Sanders bring to the program. Y'all don't have that, man. Y'all hella dull. You feel me? And all that, you know what I'm saying? We get to 2023, man. Uh, you gotta go ahead and reach uh, uh these kids, man. It ain't like how it was back in the day, man. Where we can go ahead and get the grit and grind, man. Now these kids, man, love a little flash and pizzazz, man. And they love a little magnetism. They want to go ahead, man, and play for a coach, man. They don't want all that dough, you feel me? Because these kids are soft. 
homie. And that's why I thought that Venables, you was the right coach for Oklahoma because these kids are soft. So they, Oklahoma need to go ahead and, and bring a grit, especially if they're going to go to the a SEC. So come on, man. But at the end of the day, in these playoffs, though, Y'all going to have to see about Dion. And y'all going to have to be ready about Dion. Especially with these in the next couple years, man. Dion going to get a whole lot of transfers. He going to get a whole lot of commits. And y'all going to have to be ready for Dion. Because Dion going to go ahead, man. I'm pretty sure off the rip. He may not win this year, though. The way he want to win, though. Trust and believe, man. The next year or the year after that, man. Dion going to be a problem. He going to be a problem for years to come. And y'all know that he coming. And y'all know that y'all going to have to not only compete against people like Alabama, the SEC, and everybody else. But now Dion is in the fold. And that threatens you. That threatens you. You know what I'm saying? So y'all going to have to keep it a stack in the bando when it comes down to this, man. Y'all ain't ready for Hey, man, y'all, you know what I'm saying? The way Dion doing his things, there's a little jealousy going on there, though, man. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section, man. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share this content. And we up out of here.